Oh, hey, what's going on? Joe, 690ADV. Hey, you know what? KTM just recently, about less than a week ago, just came out with their brand new 1290 Super Venture R. They think it's the greatest adventure bike on the planet. Is it? I don't know. We're gonna talk about it next. Hey, what's happening everybody? Joe, 690 ADV, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a really good day today. Man, I tell you what, I've said it once, I've said it a million times, man. The weather is getting fantastic outside. Super, super nice. It's getting warm. Gonna be able to, you know, go t-shirt, you know, go ride around the block, whatever. I don't even care if you go to Starbucks, man. Just get out and ride uh, and enjoy yourself. Anyway, like the intro said, KTM, best large adventure uh, bike out there today well we're going to get into that a little bit and you can tell me what you think in the video uh if you think so or if you don't think so uh with the 1290 cc uh engine on that thing you know <laughs> it's 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 kind of hard to argue but we're going to get into a lot of things on that bike um on why i think it probably is the best adventure bike out there on the market today and with them just announcing it uh just the other day anyway like i said it's kind of funny how ktm uh announced that just moments after they did the pan america from um from harley davidson and i think they did that for a reason because they wanted the pan america to come out my personal opinion this is no whatever, this is just what I feel. Uh, you tell me what you think, you can put it down below in the comments. Uh, but I think they did it because they want to take that thunder away from uh, Harley-Davidson. And, and why wouldn't you? I mean, you know, let that bike come out, do their whatever, give their spiel, and then put Chris Birch on that KTM and just get out there and flat, just get after it. But, you know, they made quite a few changes to the uh, 1290 Super Adventure that I think that um, is really actually pretty, uh, pretty, pretty awesome, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, anyway, before we get totally into it, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up uh, if you like what you hear. And uh, don't forget, if you're looking for any gear or anything like that, down there in the description, yeah, is our Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash 690ADV. On to the rest of the video. You know, KTM honestly takes that ready to race seriously. I mean, they truly take that to heart because um, nobody other than KTM truly gets out and builds those bikes that are truly off-road ready. They, I mean, their first thing in when they get into the Enduro and into the uh, uh, Adventure Bikes, come on, look at all of them. They strictly truly put that dirt first there that's just their thing man and when you get into that off-road category it's really hard not to sit there and believe that ktm is not going to bring something fantastic to the market it just i just don't believe it if somebody said oh well ktm made a subpar bike that's just not the case anymore and like i said with a 1290 cc uh bike that thing is going to be able to rock off road and you can see by the pictures and stuff up on screen on chris birch and all that stuff that guy can flat out just do it and get the business done and on the bike like that you I mean come on not anybody can do that but you sure feel like that you can now features you know, there's quite a few that are on there. I'm not going to hit every single feature that they did on the, the new 2021 uh, Super Adventure R. But what I will say is I'll pick out a, quite a few of the ones that I think are really fantastic on that bike and that really separate it and it's going to make this thing super fantastic. And I'm not trying to knock Harley and I'm not trying to, you know, knock Yamaha or even Honda for that, uh, you know, for that reason. But what I am saying is, is for a very large adventure bike and even BMW, um, I don't think any of those manufacturers are on par with what KTM is bringing to the table. One of the biggest things that I think is really awesome and fantastic the gas tank. They really are smart about what they do. They do that underslung tank that actually will hold 6.1 gallons of fuel, holds it low to the ground, keeps that center of gravity, and keeps that bike balanced. I'm just telling you, 
that's a big deal. When you're riding off road, that basically lower center of gravity is huge when you're riding off road. So leave it to KTM, fantastic. They've got a bunch of ride mode settings, which is kind of cool. I'm not super into that type of ride mode stuff. I had it on my BMW. It does change, but I would imagine with KTM and their technology, these ride modes are probably pretty fantastic. They've got rain, street, sport, off-road, and now they got what's called as rally mode. And that rally mode allows you to change that throttle response and get a whole lot more aggressive if you want to ride off-road. Air filter. I don't know if you've ever tried to change air filters on KTMs. The 690 <laughs> over there, I could tell you right now, it's really kind of a pain in the butt. They made it really easy to get to that air filter and change it out really, really fast because if you do ride off-road and you get lots of dust up in there, you know what? You don't want dust in that intake. So if you can change that filter out fast and easy, that's really, it's a win. It's a win. I don't care what you say. 7-inch TFT display with the KTM ride-by, you know, the ride-by-by, a ride or whatever they want to call it. It's got turn-by-turn -turn directions built into that. That's really kind of neat, um, which you would kind of expect on a big bike like that, but a 7-inch TFT, that's pretty good size. I mean, that's actually, that's a pretty good, uh, that's pretty good size screen. Now, the other thing that's really neat on this, if you're not a tall rider, this is for short riders or shorter riders, as I like to say. I'm a little fortunate because I'm about six feet but they built this bike to where shorter riders can actually saddle this thing up and take it out. They did a shorter frame, a, short, a longer swing arm. It's gonna make it ride off-road a whole lot better, but not only that, the seat height on that thing, 34 inches, which is really perfect. And with that nice tire setup on there, that 2118, off-road is basically whatever you wanna do. So if you are thinking about a large adventure bike, this is probably the ticket for you. If you want high performance, right out of the gate, power, built for the off-road, but you also know that thing is gonna do the road quite well, yeah, the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R, it may be the ticket for you. Now, they optimize the suspension, they put the WP uh, Explorer on there, fully adjustable, nice. New sensors, a six axis sensor, to basically check the bike for the lean angles and stuff like that to try to help correct your ride. Traction control, motor slip regulation, motorcycle stability control, off-road ABS, and there's more than that. Like I said, we're not gonna go into everything, but it's very cool, and lots and lots and lots of neat stuff that's on there. Now, power. What kind of power can you expect in this bike? Well, it's KTM. You know it's got power. 160 horses to be exact. And at 160 horsepower, <laughs> I'll promise you, it's gonna propel that bike quite nimbly and quite fast. And if you've seen by the opening and the, the stuff like that, if you haven't checked it out, check out the KTM release on that and see what Chris Birch does on that bike. A lot of people thought that was gonna be the new 490 Adventure. It wasn't, it was the 1290 Super Adventure R. Ridiculous service intervals. Now this is the part that really got me pretty good. And you put it down below what you think. I really think this is fantastic and I think it's awesome. 15,000 kilometers. What does that equate to here in the United States? 9,000 mile oil changes. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> There's very few bikes on the planet that will do 9,000 and have all of that high performance and amazingness wrapped up into a package that's just like that than the KTM. Now, if you want to check out this bike, you can go to KTM's website. It's on there. You can get more information that's out there. This is just a brief you and it gets you into the KTM. Hopefully gets you excited because it gets me excited. But I tell you what, this bike is going to be second to nobody. It's going to be a real, true off-road machine that's 1,200 cc's and up with 160 horsepower. I just honestly don't think that there's another bike on the market that even competes to this bike right here. You tell me, always put it down below in the comments. And don't forget, you can always hit me up at 690ADB at gmail.com and questions, whatever you want to do. But what do you think about the KTM 1290 Super Adventure coming out in 2021? <laughs> Personally, yes, I give it two thumbs up and I definitely say that it's probably the best, the best 
adventure bike on the market today. And I think it will prove itself true in a very short time. Anyway, like I said, hey, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you hear. And don't forget our store down below if you need anything. Amazon.com slash shop slash 690ADV. And you can always email me anytime. 690ADV at gmail.com. We appreciate you. Get out, ride, be safe. Have a wonderful time. 690 out.